In the last two videos, we talked about the refractive errors myopia and hyperopia. But there's also another refractive error that troubles many people, and it's called astigmatism. I almost find it difficult to find people without astigmatism than those who do, and it can impact your ability to read or enjoy a good movie. So, without further ado, let's get learning. Hey yo, Antonio. Before we get into the optics side of things, I just want to explain what astigmatism actually means. It originates from the Greek a, which means be without, and stigma, which means mark or puncture. So simply put, astigmatism is when there is no distinct focal point. This will make more sense later on in the video. Astigmatism in the eye usually results from the curvature of the cornea not being completely spherical. We know that the way that light bends is heavily dependent on the curvature of the refractive medium, in this case, the cornea. A lens that is steeply curved is going to bend light stronger or nearer, and a lens that is relatively flatter is going to bend light weaker or further. But did you know that you can have both a steep and a flat lens? In most optical illustrations, we draw the lens as a 2D image, and this simplifies things a lot. But we all know in optics that nothing is simple. So to make more life complicated, we have to look at the lens in 3D. Here is something that is reminiscent of a cornea. It looks like a cutout from a sphere. Now, if for any reason, and don't ask me which reason because it's always different, there are any external forces that change the shape of the cornea, it'll ultimately change the curvature and result in a change in the optics. The simplest form of astigmatism is when the vertical portion of the cornea is steeper than the horizontal portion. If we look at what it does to the optics, the vertical side being more curved means that the focal point of the light rays will be nearer, and likewise, the horizontal side being less curved will make the focal point further. If you superimpose these traces on top of each other, we can see that there is no true focal point. And that leads us back to the definition of astigmatism, which is the absence of a mark. Here, we can see that the vertical meridian demonstrates maximum clarity, where the horizontal meridian is completely out of focus. And as we move along this line, we can see that the horizontal meridian coming more into focus, and the vertical meridian becoming less in focus. The circle that demonstrates the product of these two focal points is what we call the blur circle. People generally experience less blurriness as the blur circle gets smaller, and the point at which we have the smallest blur circle is exactly in the middle of the two foci, also known as the circle of least confusion. And yes, this is an actual optical term. If the circle of least confusion is small enough for you to see small letters clearly, then the amount of astigmatism that you have is visually insignificant. However, if the circle of least confusion exceeds the critical size that you need for reading clearly, that means that the astigmatism is visually significant. We know that if an eye has myopia, it can't have hyperopia as well, and vice versa. But astigmatism can coexist with these refractive errors, so you can have myopic astigmatism and hyperopic astigmatism. In fact, there are five different combinations you can make with these three options. Number one, simple hyperopic astigmatism. Number two, simple myopic astigmatism. Compound hyperopic astigmatism. Compound myopic astigmatism. And lastly, mixed astigmatism. Each combination affects your vision differently, and that's why it's so important that you obtain a unique prescription in order to achieve the clearest vision possible. And there are multiple ways you can make this up in prescription in the form of glasses and contact lenses. The most common symptom of astigmatism is distorted or blurry vision, but you can have other symptoms such as eye strain, headaches, and trouble driving at night. If you have astigmatism at a young age, it can affect a child's ability to focus at school and may even cause amblyopia. But there you have it, a quick look at what the term astigmatism means. I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.